Debian and Arch, two of the most popular Linux distributions on the planet, both serve as the basis for hundreds of other distros. Due to their popularity, the question that naturally comes up from time to time is, which of these giants of the Linux world is the better distribution? Debian has much larger official repositories. The Arch repositories are quite a bit smaller, but when you enable the AUR, the Arch user repository, and almost all Arch users do this, then the number of packages in the repos are actually quite comparable between Debian and Arch. Not to mention that Snaps, Flatpak, App Images work on both Debian and Arch. In fact, I would argue that Debian and Arch are probably the best distros to run if package availability is high on your list of priorities. After all, no one likes compiling from source, not on binary distros anyway. Debian is a staunch supporter of the free software movement, even in the very early days of Debian, and Debian is very old, the second oldest active distribution. Debian chose to call itself Debian GNU slash Linux. Only free software will be found in the official repositories and only free software will ship on its ISOs. Arch is a bit more lenient concerning quote non-free unquote software as defined by the Free Software Foundation. Debian has three branches, stable, testing, and unstable, with the focus being on the stringent testing of the stable branch. The stable branch of Debian is frozen and supported for several years, which makes Debian one of the most popular server distributions as well as being popular on desktops that require long-term support. Arch does not have a quote stable or long-term support branch. Arch is strictly rolling and is always rolling out the very latest packages. Arch could be compared to Debian's testing branch and especially Debian's unstable branch. Arch does not have a fixed release schedule, and you never have to upgrade to the next version of Arch. Due to the rolling nature of Arch, when you install Arch, you are always on the latest version of Arch. Debian supports a large number of architectures, including 32-bit Intel, 64-bit Intel, 32-bit ARM, 64-bit ARM, PowerPC, Heck, there are even images for the now obscure 32-bit and 64-bit MIPS architecture. Arch, on the other hand, is x86-64 only, so no 32-bit support at all for Arch. But for ARM images, there is a port of Arch designed for ARM computers. Debian's installation is a bit more new user-friendly due to it offering a graphical installer as opposed to Arch, which is installed via the command line. Debian installs pre-selected groups of packages, and typically those packages are already configured. Arch installs only a minimal base upon which you install everything beyond that point yourself. Very little configuration is done for you in Arch. Arch keeps patching to a minimum, thus avoiding problems that upstream are unable to review. When you install a package in Arch, you are getting the package as it was intended from upstream. Debian is far more liberal in patching its packages, which does make some things a bit more palatable to a wider audience. For example, installing a desktop environment. In Arch, you get the vanilla desktop as its creators intended it. In Debian, you may get something a bit more customized. For support, both Debian and Arch offer online forums and IRC channels that are very active and willing to help you with your issues. But the Arch community is well known to have little patience for those that do not at least put in some effort to fix their problems. RTFM, read the effing manual, is often suggested to the user that hasn't put in the time to research their own problem. In fairness though, Arch has the best Linux wiki on the internet. It's so good that every Linux user should have it bookmarked regardless of what distribution you actually use. Debian has a wiki too, but it pales in comparison to the Arch Wiki. So which is the better distro? Both Debian and Arch have awesome logos. Both Debian and Arch can be considered meme distros. And both are equally capable, limited only by your skill, ability, desire to tweak to your own needs. I can't tell you which is the better distro for you. All I know is which one is right for me.